Why does sodium react with water? Well, the early high school answer is because sodium is higher than hydrogen on the activity series. The activity series is a list of the reactivities of, well, in the, the metal activity series is for metals like sodium is, and sodium is higher on that list than hydrogen is. So you're taught that sodium automatically displaces hydrogen in this compound. I'm just gonna finish my sentence there. The sodium kicks it out in a single displacement reaction, leaves you with an OH minus ion, even if it's kind of unclear here. Water in a single displacement reaction is treated like it's hydrogen hydroxide ionic compound, and the sodium displaces the one hydrogen and makes the NaOH. The more advanced answer is that Na has a very low ionization energy. That's the amount of energy required to remove an electron from it. Neutral sodium has 11 electrons, including one in its outer shell. Wouldn't it love to get rid of that extra one electron so it has a full outer shell or a complete octet? If only there was something somewhere around here that can accept that one single electron. Well, we have a water molecule here, and oxygen is a very electronegative atom. That means this is a polar covalent bond. There's an unequal sharing of those electrons. That gives this a very slightly negative charge, and that gives the hydrogen here a very slightly positive charge. Oh boy, isn't that attractive to a lone electron with nowhere to go. That one electron is attracted to the slightly positive charge, this bond ends up becoming a little more unstable because that electron repels them a little bit. You actually need this to happen twice, like with two sodiums, in order for this to balance because hydrogen itself needs two atoms of hydrogen, one electron each, to... Well, it's a diatonic molecule, so you just need two of them. So you need two of these displacements happening to get the two hydrogens, but one electron each is donated from a sodium atom, which it is very likely to do. I'm gonna write the word favorable here, simply due to the fact that sodium would love to give up its electron. It's called low ionization energy because it doesn't take much to get that electron pulled out of that atom. Once you do, you end up with an Na plus ion. You will eventually end up with an OH minus ion. That's where the NaOH comes from. What you don't actually get here is that H with a single electron around it. That's too unstable. There's a little bit more going on mechanism-wise to get that to combine with another one to make the H2. But you didn't come here for that, you came for the Y. The answer is low ionization energy. That's if you wanna sound super smart and want the bonus marks. The easy answer is it's lower on the activity series. Capiche, capiche, best of luck.